Ladies and gentlemen, the political winds has just shifted with the new US President Donald Trump has successfully secured his second term on the 6th of November, even before his official inauguration on the 20th of January 2025. The market has already reacted in a very fascinating way. So the topic is which sectors will benefit or which sector will struggle under his administrations in 2025. Stick around to this video as we discuss. Do give this video a like, comment below with your views and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Quick disclaimer, this is not a financial advice on what to invest. Before putting your money on the line, do your own homework and research. So this election outcomes remind many of Trump's first term back in 2016, where certain sectors like finance, energy and industrial have rallied during his initial weeks of administration. However, do bear in mind, some of these sectors have actually underperformed the S&P market in the next three years. Will history repeat itself? It is still a long way to go and to observe. First of all, let's revise some of the promises during Trump election campaign. There are three main points. First of all, he promised to cut corporate tax rate from current 21% to 15%. This is set to benefit US companies over medium to long terms. Second, tariff is back. So he promised to impose 25% on all imported goods from Mexico, Canada and China. This could benefit uh, domestic manufacturers companies in the US. And lastly, deregulation in the finance sector and energy sector. It is clear that his pro-cryptocurrency stance has again fused the market optimism and we can see Bitcoins has already hit the, another new record high reaching over 98,000. Now let's dive in into the specific sectors that could thrive or struggle under Trump administration. Firstly, let's look at cryptocurrency. Trump has made a bold promise to make America the first nation to adopt Bitcoin as a strategic reserve asset. He is planning to establish new committee, presidential advisory committee on cryptocurrency and provide efficient energy to support crypto mining. So he's not only talk, he already launched a crypto platform called the World Liberty Financial. It acts like a digital bank that encourages people to invest, save and borrow in the form of digital assets. Companies like MicroStrategy as a business intelligence development company has benefited as it accumulates Bitcoin since 2020. It is said that it is holding approximately 380,000 Bitcoins value at more than $37.6 billion. So do expect more volatility in the cryptocurrency. Next, finance sector. Deregulation and potential rate cuts could benefit financial institutions, including fintech and banks. Big banks like Banks of America, JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs are expected to benefit more from the lower tax. This stock may offer short-term strong momentum and long-term growth potential. Next, energy. Trump's support on deregulation of the energy sectors has always been there. He is pro fossil fuel, so companies like ExxonMobil and ConocoPhillips could benefit from the looser regulation and tax breaks. But here's the twist. The global demand for clean energy is going to be more and more important. There is some unexpected balancing act between the demand for traditional and renewable energy. Time will tell and this will unfold. Next, industrial and manufacturing. His renewed American First agendas by setting tariffs on imported goods is set to protect domestic manufacturer. Company like Caterpillar is set to benefit from this. However, setting tariffs on imported goods from Canada, Mexico and China may cause supply chain disruptions and putting pricing pressure to the consumers at the end. Do keep in mind that these three countries are the largest trading partner to the USA. This will be an ongoing discussion with the countries. Next, prison and security companies. Trump's stricter immigration is set to benefit private prison operators like the Geo Group and Core Civic. 
that runs the detention facilities. Meanwhile, Palantia, which is the business intelligence development company, has secretly helping the government spending government contract, including CIA and NSA, is set to benefit from uh, potential stricter rules on security. This is one stock to be watched and it has been always the retail investor favorite. Next, the outdoor industry. This is an interesting part as we know Trump may potentially roll back the EV electric vehicle credit and this could impact Tesla, the leader in the EV industry. However, Tesla is in a unique position as the CEO Elon Musk has openly poured his own money to support Trump during his election campaign. This is something in discussion whether Tesla will be in a different position. And interestingly, Elon Musk was selected to be the leader of this new department called Dodge, Department of Government Efficiency. This is exactly the meme stock uh, linked to the wing Shiba Inu coin a few years back when Elon Musk joked about it on Twitter. So we are not sure what is happening and if it's this. And this has already caused the hype in the market where Dogecoin has surged. Will this expected alliance benefit Tesla or the potential EV tax policy changes impact Tesla profit in the medium to long term? Do comment below your views on which sector you believe will thrive and will struggle. Honestly, Trump's second term has presented some market opportunity to investors either in short term, medium or long term. He promises on tariff tax cut is going to benefit a US company over medium to long term. His support on deregulation on the finance and energy sectors is set to benefit local companies. And of course, he is supporting the use of digital assets like cryptocurrency to be used as a strategic reserve assets. This will definitely change how the economy works. Whether you are eyeing on Bitcoin, Tesla, bank stock or some tech stocks, one thing is clear, 2025 will be a year of market dynamic that presents opportunity for you to capitalize and if you are ready to take on the risk. If you find this video helpful, do give me a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I wish you a prosperous 2025 and happy investing. Thank you. Bye-bye.